Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. We'd love to hear your suggestions on video tutorial topics. Today's video topic comes from Mark, who wants to learn how to automate effects inside of Ableton Live. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with the concept, you can think of automation as a recorded change to a sound or effect. Let's start by taking a listen to the clip we'll be working with in this video before we start adding any effects to it. If you're unfamiliar with Ableton Live, it's really easy to add effects to the different channels that you're working with. One effect that's really apparent when you add it is a flanger. So we'll just go and drag the flanger from our live devices onto our channel. Now when we play it, you'll see that there's a difference in the way that it sounds. Now, as I said before, automation is really a change over time that you can record. With Ableton Live, there's two ways to do this. The first is that you can simply draw in the change and then play back the automation and hear the result. You'll notice that in Live, there are a whole bunch of these red lines on each individual channel. These are your automation lines. You can select what property you want to automate by going over to the selector and you can see here it says mixer. Well if we click on this we can then go down to flanger which will select the flanger effect on this channel. Underneath where it says device on that is the type of control that you are going to be automating. For this we're going to go down and then select dry wet. You can use the dry wet kind of like an on off button by setting it at zero and then changing it to 100. So let's take a look at how you might want to do this with automation. The easiest way is to simply go and double click on any point in the automation line. And that adds a point. Then you can go and add a secondary point and click and drag that to whatever value you want. And you can see that live will display at what percentage you're at depending on the vertical axis of the particular channel. So if you put it all the way down to the bottom, you'll see it's at zero. And we have a nice vertical line here. Now when we play the clip, you'll hear that the effect turns on at this point. You can also use the pencil tool to draw in a particular automation. So let's say that we only want the effect to go on for one bar, we can simply draw down and you'll see here now that the effect will be off and then it'll turn on, off and then on. So let's take a listen to how that sounds. So then you can exit out of the pencil tool whenever you like and now you have all of these different points that you can play with. This is really handy because now you can do things like fades. So instead of maybe turning off, we're just going to have this fade down. And then we will take this off. And now there it comes on right at the beginning, and then it stays on, and then it kind of fades out. So let's just take another listen. Drawing in automation is great if you want really precise changes to your effect or sound. But what if you want to listen to the clip or track and adjust the effects as you're listening to it in real time? Well, for this we can use the global record function and our keyboard and mouse or our MIDI controller to automate effects over time. It's really simple to do. First, we'll make sure that we are set back to the beginning of our clip. Then we're going to arm the global record. And after we press play, we're going to change some of the controls on our flanger effect. Let's take a look at how this works. You probably saw that as I was adjusting the dry wet and the envelope, Ableton Live created its own automation in real time. 
all of these different points that you can see here represent the different automation that I was doing with my mouse. One of the great things about Ableton is that you can always go back and re-edit or re-automate the different changes that you've made to your effects or tracks. When you're going back and re-editing though, it might seem a bit daunting with all the different parameters on each effect. Thankfully, Ableton Live provides you with some visual feedback on what parameters you've automated. If we go back over to our selector, you can see that Flanger now has a red square next to its name. This means that there are automated properties on the Flanger effect. Underneath, you'll see that now Envelope Modulation and Dry Wet also have that same red square. And that means that there is automation on those settings. Now, if you don't want a whole big drop down menu, you can always go and select Show Automated Parameters Only. This will then condense all those options and only show you the ones that have automation. If you want to see more than one automated setting at a time, you can always hit this plus button. That will take whatever automation you have currently and add it to its own automation lane. Then you can go back and select a separate property and now you can see that we have two sets of automation on the screen at the same time. This is really great if you're doing DJ mixes where you need to see multiple EQ settings or the volume setting at the same time. If you'd like to see more video tutorials, reviews, and how-tos, please check us out at thedjpodcast.com.